Hey, it's me, ZZ, and today I have some news for you. Um, TN just published a new update, TNV version 8. It adds some new cool features, and there is a new exploit cam. It was not supposed to be made public, but some asset thought it would be cool to leak it. So, yeah, so now it's public, so use it while you can, if you need it. First, my PS Vita is running the newest firmware. It's 3.01. It's still the newest firmware, which is a bit surprising since it was released in the beginning of December, so three months ago. Pretty surprising that it's still the newest version and not patched yet. And the game you need is Persona 2. To be very specific, Persona 2 Innocent Sin. Don't buy just Persona 2, you need the Innocent Sin version. Um, in the European store it's a bit expensive, it costs 30 euro, I think it also costs 29 British pound, and in the US store it should be 10 dollars, but if you think it's too expensive for the European store uh, you might want to consider to get a bundle. This bundle contains Persona 2 and Trials of the Sky, you can see here it's Persona 2 Innocent Sins. So it's the right game. The bundle is 50 euros, but basically you would pay 25 for each game. So if you want to get the second game too, it's cheaper to buy a bundle. Same applies to this bundle, Persona 2 and Persona 3 bundle. Once again here, Persona 2 Innocent Sins. And it would also be 25 euro each game. So if you want Persona 2 and 3, better get the bundle instead of both games separately. Okay. Um, my go-to exploit game is the 101 and 1 Megamix game. And now I will show you the new changes in TNV version 8. At first it looks the same like always, but there is the first change. Um, the USB connection feature, which was not working, because the USB functions inside of the PSP emulator are disabled, so you can't use it, uh, got retconned to the FTP connection. Um, I've modified this icon myself, usually there would be still the USB icon, but I've changed with the FTP icon. You see, I've changed this back to normal. And yeah, if you press it, it will take a bit of time, and then it will, like the FTP, uh, run the FTP server, and then you have to connect to this IP. Um, you have to be in the same Wi-Fi, like the PC and the computer have to be in the same Wi-Fi to find each other. And if you now try this IP on your home computer, you won't get access to my PS Vita. This is just um, a network intern IP, so it does not work via internet, just via the same network. Otherwise, um, TNV version 8. Um, a few bugs were fixed, like something with the um, DLC features and some bug with PSP file. And another big change is you see, I hope you can see it, um, at USB mode, M33 driver, Sony driver, and now also the Inferno driver. If you have ever used the Pro Custom Farmer, you know the Inferno driver is. Um, like, like the best driver for PSP ESOs. Um, it's basically nearly the same as the Mi driver, just the Inferno driver. Um, I think it's a bit faster and has more compatibility. So if you if your games at TNV aren't working at all, use the Inferno driver. It should basically play every game. I wouldn't say that it's like the go-to piracy driver, but you can kind of say it like that because it basically plays everything. Um, there are also a free few other minor bug fixes in TNV version 8, but I'm not going to go into details. So basically, TNV version 8 is now available. Just use the network update feature if you're on an older TNV version and get 
Persona 2 Innocent Sins if you have no TNV at all. The game Persona 2 Innocent Sins is available in Europe, in the USA and also in Australia. I'm not sure about um, about Asia and Japan, but I think it could be available in Japan. So yeah, I'm the that and see you soon.